to real men. What happened to men who were the heads of the household back in the 50s? They are bitter because we have walked away. The inability to commit, I do find it to be a lot of men. You are very anti-marriage. You, you don't want to commit either. So I, this well, is like a phenomenon well, I'm seeing growing. They claim marriage is more beneficial for men than it is for women. Men benefit greater from marriage than women. The fact that research shows marriage benefits men much more than women, and the happiest demographic is single, unmarried women. If men benefited from marriage, then why are millions of men checking out and refusing to get married? Why have millions of men had their life ruined when their wife gets bored and divorces them? And why do women get 93% of the alimony? I'm glad you think the happiest demographic is single unmarried women, because there's going to be a lot of that in the future. The last time I was single, I was 24, and the dating pool was everyone. And now it's like a shallow puddle of age-appropriate men who are old and gross, and I don't want to do that. I know that you think that it's that bad, but honestly, it's a lot worse. I've decided I no longer have time for anyone who's going to treat me like I'm an option. You either see my worth and act accordingly, or you can get them out of my life. Didn't she just say that? The happiest demographic is single, unmarried women. Clearly, that wasn't true. I wonder if that's one of the many lies they keep telling women, along with your education and career, should be the most important things in their life. Now, let's take a look at what happens when they buy into these lies. I'm so sick and tired of working a nine to five, but I'm fat. We get up every day and work to pay bills. I still cannot process that if you work a nine to five or an eight to five in my case, you're expected to work until you're like 70. The women that fought for our right to work. Why? I'm tired of people asking me. I thought you were independent. I thought you were strong and independent black woman. Ladies, let me remind you of something. You do not need a man. Well, the truth of the matter is, that's a lie. Women do need men, and they are realizing that now, that they need them more than ever. So, although you may feel that way, you think feminism won, because it looks like it won, the truth is, everybody loses because of feminism. So, although they may have the appearance of being happy and independent, in a while it will catch up to them and they will realize all that they have lost because they bought that lie. You know, my husband comes, he eats. I pick up his plate when he's done eating. That's something people are so surprised to know. He does not pick up his own plate. For like some of my American friends who see it, they're a little taken aback. Like, can't he pick up his own plate? Now, let's get back to women getting upset that men don't want them. And if you have enjoyed the video this far, brother, I would greatly appreciate if you liked the video. Hey men, are you guys okay? Because you're really acting wild lately. I've been talking to my mom and she said I'm on my own because I'm a hard person to love. I'm independent, I don't need anyone, but when people love me, I push them away. And I don't know why that is. She's, and she's like, men don't like women that are hard to love. Men don't like women that are independent. They don't. They want a woman they can look after and you're not that person. So I've come to the conclusion, I am doomed to be alone forever just because I'm hard to love. So I found out yesterday my divorce has been finalised and honestly that hurts like my ex-husband is an amazing man and I never went into marriage thinking it was going to end so the fact that it's now officially done oh, it's been a lot and that was on top of what was already a bad week you know I found out I'd been made redundant I reached out to the situationship guy which was stupid I don't know I thought maybe it might make me feel better it didn't so I had to go back to no contact so when you're going through just know it is okay to not be okay well let's talk about this bull women aren't backing down because they know the real reason men are bitter is because they don't have access not because they care listen up we have more access than ever more women are involved in sport culture than ever before in the history of the world a higher percentage of women show their bodies to everybody give their bodies to everybody you can see the beats of a 18 year old girl in milwaukee right now that you would have never seen in a million years before no matter what you did you would have never had this level of access to her ever you she's got only fans now and this idea that men are bitter because we don't have access is crazy that's crazy 
We've got more access to you than we have ever had in the history of the world at a lower price. Nothing to do with reality is insane. That's what we're complaining about is too much access. Would you rather smash for money or for love? <laughs> for money? For money, yeah. Really? If it's a lot of money, you know? So yeah. how much is a lot to you? Like 20K. Has anyone ever offered you 20K before? No. No. I've got like 5K, 10K, mm -hmm. you know? I don't feel like I've ever got a 20. So, okay, you got offered 5K, 10K. Did you take it? I don't know, girl. Get on ready with me after being stood up. I was actually really excited to go on this date, not gonna lie. <laughs> Figure I'll just make some food and watch a movie and cry probably a little bit more. The funny part about it too is that I wasn't even the one that asked to go on the date. But I guess instead of sitting here and trying to rehash all the reasons why this may have happened, I'm just going to move on. So I got stood up on a date tonight. Um, I show up to the bar and check my messages and he's unmatched me. But you know what? The bar gave me a free drink and a shot. So everything's fine. I love dating in London and... We don't care. I have been a single mom for all of two years and I have to say, I hate it here. With the added mental stress load of how do I pay every bill by myself. And that's not even the part that frustrates me. The kicker is that this is culturally normal and even embrace that if you're a single mom you're just gonna struggle and that's it like i could be on the brink of a mental breakdown we don't care united airlines is out with a plan pushing diversity for new pilots the company wants to train 5,000 of them over the next decade and is promising at least half will be women or people of color united would also be taking on applicants with no flying experience just then by sheer coincidence. Engine sitting down on the ground, buddy. Thank you, man. Yeah, y'all on up the road. Glad y'all are here with us. Wow. Oh my goodness, look at the back of the plane, man. United Airlines pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion. What could possibly go wrong? United flight goes off runway. Uh, did you try hiring more diversity? <laughs> anyway guys, make sure you subscribe to The Modern King for exclusive content. If you enjoyed this video, I promise you'll enjoy this next video. I will see you there. Farewell, everyone.